five, six years ago, we were, I was uh, in construction and we did uh, um, additions and the business went belly up. I mean, it just went under because the guys that we were with, the guys I was working with, uh, they got on drugs and the business just went under. Lost money, we lost contracts, and eventually I just lost everything. Lost my house because I didn't have any money. I couldn't feed my family. I lived in my car when I was homeless. Um, three, three children in the back seat, my wife and I in the front seat, and that was our sleeping arrangement. But the, the only thing I could think of is, was it my fault or how did this happen and what did I go wrong? What did I do wrong? You know, what? You know, I'm trying to figure out how did this happen? So I needed some help. I needed some real help. And I, don't, I didn't know who really to turn to, but it just, it just so obvious you need to turn to God. You know, you just need to turn to the Lord. You need to learn how to um, uh, get some faith. I began to pray. Asking God, I said, Lord, this is, I, I'm, I'm, I can't take it, and I, this is it. You have blessed me today. Uh, this guy, he, he kind of pressed into me about my situation. He wanted to know what was going on with me. He took me to fellowship, the church, where I saw the sign, the Convoy of Hope. I, I just, when I saw the sign, I was like, what is this? He said, yeah, this is an event that you don't want to miss. You know, they're giving away food there. I was like, oh yeah, I want to be there. <laughs> You know, it was a huge event. It was a lot of people there, a lot of friendly faces. I mean, a lot of people that would greet you. As soon as you come to the, as soon as you walk through the gate, they're there to greet you. And they had grabbed my family and my wife and they pulled them into this tent and said, come on, let's pray, you know. And so my wife called me, she said, come here, come here. Come on over here. And so I went in there with them. Oh man. And they began to pray for us, man. And it was like, wow, what's really happening here, you know. They didn't just stop at prayer. All the things that I needed at the time, they, they fully met it. Uh, got us into a house, a job. They took us in, uh, saw our needs, and met them. So when I heard that they were coming back again, well, we couldn't wait to. I told my family, my wife, and I said, they're coming back again this year. We're going to be there. This time, we're going to help. We're going we're gonna to get us some t-shirts, and we're going to go, and we're going to help. And I was excited about it because I remember where I was before in that car. I remember that. And I remember how Convoy of Hope changed my life. I remember that. This photo represents the day that changed our lives, a day of hope. 